It's October, which means breast cancer awareness and pink ribbons. But are these campaigns and events helping or hurting our understanding of the disease? Breast cancer is the second leading cause of deaths for women in the United States. One in eight will develop the disease sometime in their life, and about 250,000 will be diagnosed this year. Today, the color pink is synonymous to breast cancer awareness. But what does being aware actually mean? Some survivors say that campaigns do their job of educating people on breast cancer, but they are still not getting checked. A lot of people are aware, but a lot of people still don't believe it's going to happen to them. Others believe that some businesses take advantage of the month. I do think companies do jump on the bag and wagon to um, better their companies, their organizations. However, Centera Hospital in Woodbridge, Virginia is hosting an event different than other campaigns in the area. With their mammovan and on-site physicians, people can easily get a mammogram and ask questions about the process. Dr. Nagar Golsorki says with these types of events, there should be no excuse to not get checked. You could easily get a mammogram here. and We have educational brochures as to how to go about doing a self-breast exam, looking for lumps and bumps in your body, in your breast in particular. Some breast cancer foundations have been scrutinized for how they use their money to raise awareness. Patient navigator Deanna Henry says she helps patients manage health care disparities, but there aren't enough resources that provide for practical necessities. They don't have, for instance, a pot of money for transportation or a pot of money to help people pay their bills, um, those kinds of things. With all the money being raised, there's still a lack of funds for research. I think you have to be careful as far as uh, buying products that just have pink ribbon on it uh, and understanding that the money that you're spending and thinking that you're contributing towards breast cancer research or survivorship doesn't necessarily end up there. Along with funding criticism, pinkwashing is another concern of breast cancer awareness. It's when companies use pink ribbon logos on their products as a form of cause-related marketing. Henry says some of her patients have different opinions on the promotion strategy. I have some, some patients in there who really embrace the pink thing, um, but I have some that say, now that I have breast cancer, I hate pink. Because, you know, uh, one lady in particular, she said, that used to be my favorite color and now it's not anymore because it's just, it's just overdone. Survivor Crystalline Wallen says that breast cancer awareness should be geared towards eliminating the fear of mammograms and providing guidance on the procedure. We also need to start teaching what the options are, which I don't think that that's being done. And so therefore, if that's not being done, that's going to hinder people from getting their mammograms because they're going to be afraid that they are going to be diagnosed. Centera's mobile mammography van travels to different community sites in Northern Virginia. The hospital's website has more information on its services. For Beltway News in Woodbridge, Virginia, I'm Crystal Campos.